So you know, Valentine's Day is upon us. <laughs> and the laughter of children warms our hearts on this holiday of holidays. <clears throat> <laughs> Who's the stage manager around this place? Do you? Don't they know I'm videotaping this for posterity? <sighs> yeah, these no. things were kind of getting in the way. I was scared I was going to injure myself. It's a good yeah. thing I was one of the sensible stones. Oh, shit, I'm going to drop some money. So what... What were you sharing with the audience, Cassie? That's what I want to know. Nothing. <laughs> Are you sure? Oh! <laughs> you gave that last year. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I was just talking. I was just talking to you guys, right? Yeah. yeah. Expressing my concern about my BFF right here. Uh, you were worried about me. Of course I was worried I about you. I didn't believe that for a minute. You know, I'm so sad about Valentine's Day. It is the worst holiday ever. It, and then I got, I did get some candy at least. That was nice, I like that. Let's give a hand for the candy. The candy. So, I mean, I suppose maybe, that, maybe I do have a secret admirer out there and I just didn't. What is this? This, nobody cares about that. That's These microphones sound kind of weird to you. They sound kind of echoey you're, today. It's you. You're weird. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm Cassie. I love you. I'm, I mean, it's okay. I'm just having a hard day today. I'm, I'm not having a hard day. I'm having an awesome day. You are? I'm going to Whistler tomorrow for five days. Yeah. You're going yes, to Whistler? Going are you going to wear that pink parka? Uh, that I covet so much. Yeah, the yeah the one from uh, Abercrombie and Fitch. Uh, yeah, the one from Abercrombie and Fitch that you wore, wore in your bobsled run last month. Yeah, we were talking. That was the one. That pink. What's in that pink bag? Nothing. Are you sure? That looks very Valentine'sy. Well, it's it's from Forever Twenty One. They're kind of into pink. Mm. <laughs> Okay, fine. Don't share with me. I don't want it. I mean, it. I got a few cars, but you got some, too. I did? Yeah. Where? I'm in here. Let me go find one. I'm going to see if anyone sent me a text message. <laughs> see, here's one to Anita. There's one right there. Up to you. You're right. It says Anita on it. <laughs> <laughs> who's it. Who's it from? It says, to, wishing you Valentine's Day fun to Cassie from President Obama. <laughs> that was to Anita from President I, Obama. I, that very... Oh, well, here, here's, here's another one. Hey, it's to me. <laughs> <laughs> It says, wishing you a sparkly, shiny Valentine day from babe to Ki Anita. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm just, Cassie, I, I appreciate what you're trying to do for me right now. I really do. But I don't believe it, not for a minute. Okay, fine. The kids always cheer me up. Hey, who, you know, we have all these cool people coming on the show. We've got somebody who has a campaign to um, return the dignity to Valentine's Day, which I thought was very appropriate. Aww. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, I recognize that voice. Hi, Caleb. Hey, Anita. Hey, how's it going? <clears throat> hey, Cassie. Yeah. What's next on our list of things that are supposed to... Got a delivery from Amazon.com. He's just not that into you for an Anita E. Jean. Oh. <laughs> Anita E. Jean. That's... Anita Goodman? That, 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 that says... That's Japanese porno. That's, I didn't order this. Woo! You sure? It's, it's the address I was given. I could have the wrong... Anybody else... As coach of a girls' high school basketball team, I come up against some unusual situations. 
Having a female assistant doesn't help. I, maybe I did order this. When I started coaching, I was fresh out of college and inexperienced in more ways than one. Go on. I didn't know what to expect. Before the basketball season even started, I had girls coming up to me bragging about how good they were. Huh. I wondered how they could talk like that since I knew the team had won only five games the previous year. Oh. <laughs> oh, snap. Then I found out what it was they were good at. Oh. Maybe, it, you know what, if I'm going to be kind of lonely on Saturday. Maybe it, maybe I just won't return this. Maybe, maybe I'm just, he's right. not that into me, but I'm into this. Yeah, no, that's different. <laughs> So, frankly, Cassie, I wish you'd play some music underneath this thing, because... Anita, yeah. I've got to say something. I've been watching hey. you. I don't, I don't know. Your voice sounds very familiar to me. You know, I do talk radio. You, we have a talk radio host in the audience? Yes, hello, everybody. Yeah. Hey. Yes. Hey. I'm on KRUM from 2 to 3 a.m. in the morning. I do, I do a talk show on love and, and relationships. Oh, um, I don't need any help with that right now. Thank you very much. Well, I'm sorry, but I've seen this, and I, don't... Anita's a beautiful woman, correct? Yeah. 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 If, you, if you were calling my station, this is the advice I would give to you. Uh, but I've never called your station. I don't know anything about it. I don't even know who you are. I'm, I'm Dr. Sylvia Joyce. Oh. I've never heard of you. Yeah, hey, you've heard of me, haven't you? I'm oh, sure she, I recognize this voice, this Caleb right here, too. I know you called my show. I know this Caleb has called my show, Oh, yeah, Caleb's We've all had show. problems, Anita. See? Right. Am I right? All right, you guys are really, you're making me feel, feel a little bit better, but, you know, there's... I'm still looking for that somebody in my bed on Valentine's Day, if you know what I'm saying. It doesn't have to, it doesn't have to last. Just for the holiday. I can help you with this. You can. I can help, I can help her with this. All right. Caleb, okay, you can help too, I'm sure. But it looks like you got somebody already. Oh, well, you just met. Oh, you just, oh, look, Caleb is in the attractive and, and, and unattached. He is. I didn't know that you were unattached these oh, days, Caleb. Oh, my God. That changes everybody. Very good. Does Aaron know about that? Yes. It doesn't matter what Aaron knows and doesn't know. Well, Anita, I'm just telling you, I can help you here. Well, Give her a chance! Okay, tell, okay, so let me share my situation with you. Um, it's not easy being trapped in a triangle between a man, a woman, and a woman, man, man, woman. Right. <laughs> Go on. I don't, it seems so personal to share on the air. We're all friends here, correct? Yeah! Well, it's okay. Uh, you, okay, whoever's not a friend, just close your some ears. Some of us are friends with benefits. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll be seeing all of you after the show. Wait. I mean, See, this is why I'm confused. Just tell us what's going on. I'll tell you what's going on. What's going on is we have a woman who wants to return dignity to Valentine's Day. Yeah. Dr. Joyce. All right, we're going to let her talk. All right, we're going to let her talk. Will you put your hands together for Cassandra St. Valentine Smith? Yeah! Let us know that this woman is she's on a mission she's on the cutting edge of a new movement here in the united states and you are meeting her here first because she needs a much better publicist than she already has no <laughs> Hey, is that David Lee Roth? He's back from the grave. God damn it, baby, you know I ain't lying to you. I'm only gonna tell you what's up. <laughs> I love that guy. He forgot the fucking words, man. Oh, yes. 
That's my sex tape. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> some help too in the back. Absolutely. I'll, where is he? The, he's right back there. Which I'm one? the guy with the sledgehammer. I'll talk to you later. The guy with the sledgehammer sitting next to the girl in the sexy outfit in the back. He's oh, on the, the poster. Mouse. I'll take care of him. She's got a dirty mouth. He's got a dirty 